go for it. Hello everybody, good afternoon. I'm Lorraine from Woolly Madly Deeply and this is Emma Sadler of Emma Sadler Designs. Oh, we're in our group, Knitting Across the Pennines. Lovely to see you. Uh, we're a minute or two early, so I'm sure people will uh, land up whenever they're ready. But today our plan is to look at patterns for house and home. Oh, look, look at that. I knew that all along. Well, it was in the invitation, which would have been a subtle clue. <laughs> <laughs> I did try to respond, but it wouldn't let me on my iPad. What can I say? We, I we, we don't let everybody in, you know. My, what my dad would say that I need uh, must try harder. Something like that. I'm sorry. What are you knitting? Um, I'm knitting a cowl to go with a hat I finished. Uh, the other day let's have a look maybe yesterday i don't know well i'll show you the hat first go on then so it's got a gorgeous pattern that goes into the diamonds and lace which is its sort of working title at the moment isn't that a print song oh i don't know it's a knitting pattern now diamonds and lace it just sounds really cool and I, i've had a play around with the crown to sort of Oh, I love a good crown. That's gorgeous. Yeah, just to get the... Are, are we going to see it modelled? Uh, possibly. Not right <laughs> this second. And then oh, I right. started playing around with the cowl, but I didn't want... So you see we go straight into diamonds and lace yeah. on the hat. Mm -hmm. I wanted to offset it so that you went... The ribbon went higher on alternate pattern repeats oh yeah yeah that's clever so you've just got diamonds at the bottom and no lace and then there'll be lace, lace in the middle yeah. that's it oh that's lovely um and then it'll probably just be diamonds at the top i don't know till i get there really i've, I've charted it all out um, do you know but it's, it's, it's like the crown i charted the crown out before i knitted it and then changed it with every row <laughs> I just love it. I think it's a gorgeous hat. It's going to be a gorgeous cow. But you know what else it would make? A gorgeous jumper. Yeah, that'll have to be January, though, because there's no way I've got time. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. She's saying it's a beautiful hat. Uh, Yvonne settled in with the chai latte. I've, mm. I've got some of Jake's hot chocolate that I'm not supposed to be drinking. <gasps> Oops. But he's not it's here. Oh, so, well, he you know. know. Rules of the house, you snooze, you lose. So I've got some of that in my big mug. Nice. I've got a cranberry and elderflower, which has apparently got added vitamin B6 in it. Okay. For my tiredness. So we'll see. It probably won't do anything for me. Well, it won't if you don't think it will. Well, you know. So Henry Ford said, it doesn't matter whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Well, that's true, that is true. It's going to be amazing. It's going to make me feel like um, like a seven-year-old. I'll be running around. Got snotty with odd socks. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. And I want to do that helicopter thing where you put your arms out and you look up and you just twirl around on the spot. Well, you've got a big enough garden. Well, you know. What's stopping you? The weather. I'll do it in the hallway. Yeah, what bounce off the walls? Yeah. So what's one. what's everyone been up to today? Have you had a quiet mm -hmm, Sunday? Yeah. It's it rained here this morning. It was very heavy rain. And then it dried up and it was sunny. So I put some towels out and then it rained on them. Oh. So they're now indoors drying. And well, it's sunny again. I listened to the weatherman this morning. He's a liar. Have, he is a liar. I have I have got loads of stuff to do in the garden to tidy it up ready and put it to sleep for winter. And I am on half term now. So I was thinking, oh, it's good. I'll, uh, I'll just take my time, go out and do that over the week. He says it's going to rain all week long, including today. He said it was going to rain today. 
So we changed our plans and did tidying in the house. And guess what? What? It didn't rain. Well, it's a bit naughty, isn't it? I know. It's been gorgeous sunshine all day. And I could have been out in the garden. Trust me to listen to the weatherman. So I told you not to be trusted. No. They lie. I'm not going to do that one again, am I? I think they guess anyway. I'm not sure they actually know. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. I do. Yeah. So I don't know whether I need to do wristers or mittens, fingerless mittens or something. Definitely. And really cuffs. Boot cuffs. Mm, I don't really wear boot cuffs. Um, they're quite good for when you're going for the dog walk with the wellies. Don't have wellies. Oh, I do. I wear wellies. I wear my big waterproof walking boots. Oh, Yvonne says she's having a quiet day. It's grey and wet since she got up. And so she's been drinking tea under her blanket and doing some knitting. Oh, sounds nice. I like to sit under the blanket and knit. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it's quite mild here today. Mm. Um, I've not felt like I've wanted a blanket, to be honest. It's um, definitely mild. And it's it the, the feeling of weirdness because, you know, with the clock change and everything. Yeah, I have to say I didn't really notice. I mean, I, I woke up and it was half past five on my watch, which has obviously yeah. changed on it its own and matched the clock on my phone. And so I thought, right, well, that's my hour. And I dozed off again and got up round about six-ish, I suppose. So really, it's just next week, Jake's back at work on Sunday and I'll have to get up at five, so. Oh, that's <laughs> rude. Well, it's got to be done. That's the thing when you're on shift, isn't it? Let me just check my oh, cable good. cross and make sure I'm going the right way before I move forward. Well, I, I woke up at stupid o'clock and I was awake for about an hour or two. And then I managed to drift back off. And then the next thing I know, I wake up at eight o'clock, which wasn't great because I was supposed to meet Anne and Michelle for a run at half past eight. So oh. I missed that. Okay. Uh, but never mind, it is what it is. I've got more work done in the house instead. And I've been knitting on my cardigan. Have you? Yeah, so I'll show you how far we've got. So this is my, I've got to knit the underarm bit now. And that's how far we've got. So it's still got quite a few centimetres to go. Miles to go. How are you liking the yarn? Yes, nice. It's all right. Um, it's got lots of different colours in it. It's got nice little flecks of blue in the brown. It's um, It just looks dark in artificial light. Mm. But when you're in daylight, in proper daylight, under the proper sunlight, you can see all the different colours. So it's quite interesting. Did you work it out? Are you finding it splitty at all? Or? Yeah, a little bit splitty. But I think part of that is because it's dark as well. Right. You know, when you're, you're knitting on something really dark, it doesn't help, does it, to be honest? No, it doesn't make life any easier. No. So, uh, ho-hum. It is what it is. I mean, it'll, it'll make a lovely cardigan. The finished item will be lovely. It'll be beautiful and be able to wear it a lot. Yeah. Well, it's nice and neutral. So I might have had a little bundle around this morning. Who were? On, um, on, on Ravelry. So I've been, been looking at the patterns for the home. Did, did you two festive things? Did you did you used to get bundled at school? I don't know what you mean. Well, someone used to shout bundle, and everyone would pile on top of one person and squash them. No. Uh, okay. So bundle just means patterns to you. It doesn't mean oh my god, people are going to start jumping on my head. Well, uh, having read a discovery of witches, it has a medieval meaning. Oh, what's that? 
Um, bundling is what couples did without having um, full on intimacy prior to marriage to see whether they were compatible. Oh, <laughs> mm. yeah. Wow. Is that the equivalent of heavy petting? Kind of. I'm going to have a bundle tonight. Ooh. Maybe that's what they were trying to do at school and they hadn't quite got it right. I do not know. It's, it's, <laughs> it sounds like you went to a really weird school. Yeah, Dan, Sarah, what do you expect? Come on uh -huh. then, let's have, we have a look at your bundle. Before I the have. That's weirder. Jake just come home. Because we could go all sorts of places with this convo. You all right? Yeah, I'll um, just share screen. Ooh. So I kind of went with an autumnal theme. Um, okay. Obviously, given that our friend Darlene, for anyone that doesn't know Darlene Swim, or Lotus Lady from The Gift Along, uh, she's still in hospital. She's had further surgery. Right. She's had surgery on her ankle to repair the damage to the lower leg and a further surgery in the last week on her spine. Uh, and he's now made of pins, metal pins and rods. And So will she beep? Yeah, yeah, she'll set off metal detectors, which right. I think, to be fair, will be the least of her worries. <laughs> so... She will have to start calling her the bionic woman. Yes, yes. Excellent. Bionic woman for sure. Um, as far as I know, the surgeries have worked well, but she's still quite heavily sedated. Um, okay. And I think they want her body to recover a little bit more before they start trying to wake her up. And yeah. then obviously let her know what's going on. Um, yeah. Because hopefully she's comfortable and blissfully unaware of all of this. Um, mm -hmm. But she had quite a critical car accident and really is lucky to be alive. She had surgery in the first first few days for internal injuries and a mangled leg and all manner of stuff so yeah it's, it's not been the best of times so i thought we'd include a few of hers in this feature and not least because i'm thinking about autumn and thanksgiving and hanukkah and christmas and sort of aggressive oh, yeah. things i probably massacred that but i've seen it spelt with an h and seen it spelt with a ch and i don't know which is right so we're going with it all right okay so miniature halloween stockings i just think these are majorly cute i mean who doesn't love an owl on a purple background with the moon and the little haunted house or a pirate or yeah. castle you know. yeah i think they're just great they're yeah cute so gorgeous. and it's a second collection of halloween stockings given that it's called number two uh, so do check the rest of them out i thought this was great fun that we did look at these the other week the shipmate yeah. mittens and I just love the ships and the skulls and crossbones. And they are brilliant. They're unbelievably cute. Oh, Helen's with us. Oh, hey, Helen. How are you doing? Have you managed to do anything with that dead pheasant yet? Oh, dear. That sounds interesting. It hit, hit the window of her house. Oh. And, and killed itself. Obviously not meaning to, but there you are. Oh, dear. Unless there's a big sign above that says, so, you know. <laughs> pheasants kill yourself here i don't think so <laughs> yeah they, they usually get a few stunned birds but this was the yeah. old whopper because there's a picture of it uh so lotus ladies mini stockings for christmas this is collection number six so i encourage you to uh, have a look at some of her other ones gorgeous um i've got a mix of crochet and knit and i just thought these were quite cute and the fact that she's given them little names Oh, wow, they're cool. I like the candle. Yeah, I think they're great fun. There's a little one. It looks a little bit like a tooth. Yeah. Yeah, we won't go with what the red bit looks like on there. No. No, they're, they're lovely. I like those. What's the other one? Is that one a bell? An angel. Oh, an angel. Oh, that's cute. With golden curls, one assumes. Uh, for those of us that have been watching Disney Plus. And getting ready. Uh, for series two of a certain series. 
Yeah. All I will say is this is the way. It is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I just yeah. would love that on my tree. That might tempt me to put up a little tree. Oh, right, okay. And I thought these were quite cute, these little snow globe ornaments. I mean, all right, the little attachy mabobs that you can get in the range or any good, you know, Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. or any good craft store. And the crochet itself is minimal, but aren't they effective? They'd make lovely little gifts for children. You could maybe put something on the back to say what year and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and for someone that, you know, was knitworthy and you didn't hate, you could do them for, um, like, gift tags. Yeah, yeah. This is the lovely UK Knits for Kennington. Uh, recently returned to the Mod Squad for the gift along. Whoop, so, whoop. Nice to have Faye back on board. Oh, I love that one with the um, Christmas tree on the car. It's cute, isn't it? I mean, they're yeah. all sweet, and you can kind of mix and match with these, which I think is really nice. Yeah. So you can do any combination thereof, and I just think it's desperately clever. Very. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. It's it's all right, everyone. It's just something Emma said. Yeah, um, it's always me. Don't worry. What's a yip yip? That looks like a muppety thing. Um, but what a great storage bag. A yip yip for a kid's room or something for in it's the wardrobe. Something, isn't it? Yeah, you know, for like in the wardrobe or something, or or you could put like little soaps or something in, couldn't you? Yeah, or like there, I think they've been used like Christmas stockings. I just think that's really good fun. Right, hang on, I'm using a bit of Google for what's a yip yip Sesame Street. Oh, okay. I figured it was something muppety. Um, you look cooler. By Anna, oh, Anna wow. and Carlos. Those are fab. They're yeah. like Christmas jumpers on a bauble. Yeah, they've got a, an old book that's kicking around now, 55 Christmas Balls to Knit. And yeah. they're, they're always joking about their balls on um, their podcast on YouTube. Well, I'm sorry, their balls aren't as good as our boobs. No, no, absolutely Definitely. not. Um, come oh, down, come down with me. This is Arella Seaton, another gift along designer. And look at the cup, the kissing face. Are those knit or crochet? They're knitted, it's mosaic knitting. It's fab. Are they reversible? They will be, yeah. Garter stitch. Oh, wow. Love it. Not sure whether the pattern will be as good on the other side, but there will be pattern. Right. Um, I really liked the way that this was staged and set up, isn't it? Lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to zoom in, but that's as close as I can get. Thankful. That looks like crochet to me. Yes, it is. Yeah. Rihanna K. I just thought that was a really nice idea. Be something nice to take home to the family. For Will she have gone along and, and crocheted the word afterwards? Or would that be done at the same time? Probably done at the same time, but I'm not right. sure because I've not read the pattern. Um, oh, I just thought you, you, cause you know more crochet than me, that's all. No, I haven't really looked, I'll be honest. Okay. Blooming basket. I just thought that was pretty. Those are cool. Like a tea towel or a pot holder or something. You can kind of see how it all comes together with a pot Mary and plate as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not one of my pot marrying plates because mine are bigger than that. I think just looking at me, you can tell that my plates are bigger than most. <laughs> I picked this one. I, I love the texture of the place, yeah. but I really like that it's called Grit Stitch. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cause, and it has got that gritty, gravelly kind of texture. And if you're going to eat grit. And it's a free one. Oh, wow. There you go. Um, now this is Amy and Marie again. I think Crystal made this in the gift along. All right. Poking the eye, I love it. Made by friends. Oh, Sammy Stitches, Nita Rose Nita. made it wrong. Yeah. Sarah Jordan. Crystal, there you are. There she is. Welcome on, made it. And Nina. Nina, she's made two. God, what a show off. <laughs> I know. Oh, some yeah. people are just overachievers, aren't they? I just think that's a really fun one. I like it. Nice one to have around. And yeah, I mean you could stripe it and use scrappy colours. 
Uh, who doesn't love a hotty cover and a granny square one? Lovely way to use up scraps. That looks mm -hmm. like Stylecraft Batik uh, yeah. elements. Yeah. And that just goes to show, you know, beginner patterns don't have to be just all scarves. No, no, they don't. Fab. Uh, a can cover. This reminds me of my childhood. My mum was always coming up with crafty ideas to cover uh, tin cans. Okay. And sometimes <laughs> that would be with um, plaster of Paris and shells that we'd picked up at the beach. Yeah. Or it might be with uh, glass baubles or marbles or something like that. Oh, I yeah. thought a little bit of crochet was actually a lot more fun and a lot more practical because you could wash that. <laughs> and how many scraps could you use up doing things like that? Yeah. Uh, and this sort of makes me think of macrame. Auntie Tracy oh, yeah. could do macrame. Uh, a spider plant in your bathroom in one of those. Yeah. Kind of obligatory, isn't it? Um, yeah. I, I picked this one because it's a spare tire cozy, and I kind of feel like that's my wardrobe at the moment. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is feeling a bit like that, but I just thought that was great fun. What a, a fantastic way to show your personality a bit. I really love this. This is Christy, Christa Veenstra, who's in the gift along every year and i like this sort of bobbly oh, effect so stitch cool. and then the the layers on the top i love the stars really, so really on the top, they are those ones on the top they look the same as the one that's dangling down they are yeah they're just sort of folded up mm -hmm. so that you can get to the the, the lid so that's the word that's i was word. desperately searching for but how beautifully styled is that Gorgeous. I love her hair. I think I could rock that look. You absolutely could. Um, I don't know if anybody watches Cherry Hearts podcast, Sandra Paul. Uh, it's it, it's all quite gentle. Right. It's all very refined and gentle. And she sort of thinks as she speaks rather than us who kind of run at 100 miles an hour and <laughs> just, you know, it just kind of flaws and sometimes she has to stop and think and things like that but she comes up with beautiful colour combinations and I love the idea of these speckled and textured yarns for these little hanger covers for your more precious items in your wardrobe yeah um, and that's a nice gift for someone who appreciates that sort of thing definitely a rug and a hug for a mug oh it's a little free pattern it's just a basket weave knit really really simple tiny little tassels how, how adorable is that that is brilliant oh jackie says she loves the is it sheepies tea cozy how'd you say that sheepious 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 jackie loves Phil, Phil will correct me nice to see jackie oh helen's saying a peg bag Ooh. Oh, and she says they also did that with yet yeah, jam jars as well as tin uh, cans, yeah. And my mum used um, really wide base wine bottles to use as the bases for um, lamps and things like oh, that. Yeah. And my dad did the electrics for them, which I now I think is quite scary. I like the Spanish wine ones. Yeah. Yeah. Which were, of well, course, right the height of sophistication at the time. Oh, God, yeah. So, Haworth. I just, I like the little bobbles. It's a very simple cable pattern. Mm. Uh, really easy to do, but I just think the bobbles set it apart. It's lovely. From others of its ilk, and it's free. Woo woo. I like this one. Um, I did see a quote that I think I shared on Facebook the other day, and it was about it's this time of year where all of these cute girls put on their their check shirts and look absolutely gorgeous. I wear mine and look like I'm missing an axe. Yeah. And that kind of <laughs> reminded me of that humour. Well, I, I was wearing a check shirt on Thursday. Which, which camp do I fall into oh you definitely fall into the cute one but if i'd have oh. been wearing it i would look like an extra from misery 
<laughs> Kathy Bates eat your heart out. Well, you did have. Oh yeah, I kind of got the thing in there. the other day, didn't you? You had him locked away. Yeah, not long enough. <sighs> no, he escaped. I like I that. that. But I just think that's fun, and and it's a nice way to use up a bit of stash. Thanksgiving turkeys, little mini. It's very cheap pattern. It's from a nice little collection as well. So I encourage you to have a look. I, I just think those. they're fun. From the sleepless crocheter, obviously an insomniac. Or a maniac, I don't know. Oh, I am. Thanksgiving wreath. Oh, I love it. If somebody wants to make me one of those, I'd love them forever. Yeah, I wonder if you have to take it apart afterwards to use the coasters. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? You never run out of coasters, would you? I think, really? I just think yeah. that's really cute. So it's thanks. gorgeous. Imagine that on your front door. Let's see if we've got any comments. Uh, I haven't tried any of the sheep you swallow. Has anybody used it? No, I haven't. I know they have amazing colours, but I'm all, I, you know, I look at the kits and then I look at the price of the Starcraft special and order the Starcraft special. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for the fatigue or something. Uh, holiday gift bags for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Again, look at that turkey. I know, isn't it? Adobes. And I, I just love the star and the little sort of Bethlehem houses. Isn't that really sweet? I'm just, I'm feeling I need some kind of turkey now, somewhere in my life. I don't know what to say to that, but never mind. We'll have a look at a menorah <laughs> pillow. I, I just thought this was a nice one. Oh, that's nice. Because uh, not everybody does Christmas. Um, that and that will be a nice heirloom to share with family, I think. Um, Hand Knit Holidays is the book that that one's from, which I've got somewhere, probably digitally oh, right. from Interweave or someone like that. Yeah. Small Rose Doily. I thought that was really pretty for a place setting. Is that crochet? Yeah, it's filet crochet. Oh, what's that? It's kind of stacked stitches with oh, gaps. Right. It's lovely. Uh, holiday camper. I'm not sure oh. why only one would want to camp and um, would want at, that. at Christmas, but somebody will. Oh, it's quite big. She's holding a big old cushion there. Yeah, it would look like a postage stamp in front of me. Oh. Um Oh, we're not going to go on. Oh, that's kind of like my Christmas, like that's that. like my Christmas tree. All oh, right, okay, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, another Brianna K. I just think it's fun. Yeah, and it would look different as part of your Christmas decor. Uh, another menorah, but this time it's a, a knitted washcloth. Yeah, so you could give that as a gift, couldn't you? Well, lovely. you could, and particularly if somebody. Um, celebrate something other than christmas it's just mm -hmm. a nice way of recognizing it when you're not really sure what else to do <laughs> yeah don't know any oh, best. Look. isn't that beautiful that's wow. a magical moment to throw crochet along love the colors really really pretty would that be done i mean obviously i know you haven't read the pattern but do you think that's like from the center outwards it is yeah yeah it's gorgeous Oh, now then, now then, now then, now then. Have the gnomes started already? Yeah, sadly so. And this is a Santa gnome. But look at those stripy legs. I mean, come on. I know, he's being adorable. And look at his little shoes. And his little <gasps> stripy arms and the buttons for his braces. And his loopy beard i think i'd have gone with a fluffy beard but i think it's adorable oh, it's it's amazing. really good fun i want one <laughs> i'm gonna have to get better at crochet aren't i um that i think that was knit was it is it knit and crochet yeah, I I crocheted, wasn't it? uh that might be, be chin, that might be chin isn't it? i don't know that looks like knitted eye cord right but i don't know it says crochet, so maybe it's this small Tunisian pieces. I liked yeah. this just as a family decoration for Christmas. It's brilliant. Oh, look, and they've got one of those Axe Murderer shirts. Oh, yeah. To yeah. style it with. Nice colours. Very pretty colours. Um, I, just, I just thought that was a fun sentiment, and I'm sure she's got other ones in her range as well. Uh, the No Slip Titty Cozy. 
Oh, I love so it. So, your cam. Um, I was very careful about which one of this designer's range I selected to look at. Really? That Oh, Jackie's saying she's got to make that gnome. Isn't it adorable? He is. He is. Um, so, um, let's just say that there are some other body parts represented in this designer's catalogue. Okay. And, and should you wish to look at those, uh, yeah. feel free to do so in your own time, but we won't be covering them today. Um, and just a, a question on style, has this person actually seen real breasts or are, or are their representations based on silicon boobies? I was going to say those girls have had some work, haven't they? Yeah, because, you know, you don't have to roll those up to get them in your bra. <laughs> Um, mouth, at knees. Yeah, well, yeah, or you know, line up like three belly buttons, <laughs> two outies and an innie. Um, right. so, yeah. with mouse on a candlestick, what more do you need to say? I love that, isn't it adorable? That would be something you could get out every year and put in your mantelpiece for your decorations. Yeah, I think it's really cute. And it looks like the base, you could probably fit like a jar lid or something inside. Oh, yeah. For a bit of stability. I don't know because yeah. I haven't got the pattern and I haven't read it, but I would oh. want it to be kind of stable or have card or plastic or something underneath it. Uh, that's why Alison lives it. I just, yeah. I do like that. Adorbs. Yeah. Something a bit more Christmassy, this one. Oh, wow. It's Tunisian crochet. That is lovely. But you could do a similar design with knit in mosaic knitting. Yeah. And it, so the middle bit could be like stranded, but the top and bottom mosaic -y. Yeah. Um, well, you do in Tarja for the middle bit. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you could achieve that with mosaic and slip stitches and everything else. It's just... Mm really really pretty and it's nice to see that kind of variety of crochet because people is, don't often realize uh this is another bit of crotchet let's have a look at some crotchet oh yeah because we used to get an orange in our stocking every year i'd have loved one of those on it oh look he looks a bit like your red uh, gingerbread man's face no he doesn't he doesn't look psychotic at all <laughs> Oh, bless. Mine did look like a Mad Axe murderer. In fact, that's more like my <laughs> first, second, third, fourth, and fifth attempts. Oh, I love it. At his little face kind of looked. You could make some of those and stick them in the windows for your Halloween decorations, couldn't you? Yeah, but I like the idea of a scary dishcloth, you know, just as you're settling your yeah. child down for bed. Have yeah. you had a. A stressful Halloween and been frightened half to death just to get bags of sweets and mm -hmm. then you make them wash their face and they're wondering if the dishcloth's going to come alive during the night and kill them so you know um, fair enough <laughs> just just don't say candy man more than three times in the mirror absolutely um, I really like this oh, that's lovely. table lace blanket and pillow that's a lovely big project to uh, get your teeth into. Well, it'd be quite quick because it's crochet and it's big stitches. What's it? Oh, worsted. Yeah, worsted wet yarn. Oh, that's pretty. My mum used to have something similar to that. A little tasseled tree skirt. Because hers was bought. Yeah, it's really pretty and I love the idea. I really do. Hmm. I think my problem with sweaty horrid labradors in the house is it would be covered in dog hair in about five yeah, seconds they'd want to sit on it wouldn't they oh drag it yeah 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 i've got some, i've got a cloth over the table and they chew the tassels off the end of the cloth <laughs> i'm gonna have to change the cloth so they a little fair isle teapot oh, well, they've got little hearty bits on the top little hearty bits with eye cord cool a cute little decoration oh wow yeah, I just thought that was sweet. Midnight Snowfall Tea Cozy by Dawn Brocco. Yeah. Someone okay. has been looking at my 
festive hoodie mug hoses, I think, for ideas. Uh, mine seems to be the only one up until now that's had anything to hold a biscuit. But yeah, but this person's done it, and it's a fair owl one with a nice little pocket, and I thought it was beautifully presented. Or you could put a tea bag in there if you were on a diet. Well, and if you were giving somebody a tea cup or a mug, mm -hmm. then you could put a little packet of tea in there yeah. as part of the gift, couldn't you? Who doesn't oh, need a fairy house tea cosy? That is just the cutest. Oh, Catherine's popped in. Hello, lovely to see you. Catherine oh, hi, Catherine. Uh, Jackie's saying another cute decoration, the camel stick and mouse. Isn't it adorable? You'd have to make the fairy house tea cosy to go with it, though, I think. And I like I all think. the little embellishments, like the flowers and the little details on the windows. Yeah. It's just really, really cute. Is that like a mushroom chimney? I think so, yeah. Cool. I'm not sure you have to smoke the mushrooms, but... No, 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 no. Which baubles? Um, I, I don't know. Um, I suppose they'd be cute for hanging in your window for Halloween. Yeah. If, if you're one of those people that does Halloween. Um, I don't. I don't think anyone's doing it this year, are they? Um, I don't know that they'll be allowed to. And to be honest, yeah. I've got sick of spending a fortune on sweets for other people's kids. Exactly. Um. And spending, all, and spending all night opening the front door, handing out sweets, and then going, shut the gate! <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, hubble bubble toil and trouble, and all that lot. Well, yeah, it, it does make you want to be just mean and horrible, I think. But there yeah. So I just think mm -hmm. these are great fun. I love the, the curly grey hair. Yeah, um, just for just for Yvonne, this one skull baubles. I thought they'd be great for a gothic tree. Oh, yeah, it's obviously the same lady that's done this because obviously uh, look at the oh, look, who's that down there? And look, Bride of Frankenstein. I love it. She's got your hair. She has. She's got my hair, well and truly. Give and it back. The black cats and the spider. Oh, look at the tarantula. Oh, it's a spider <gasps> and a mummy. She's got the whole kit and caboodle going on, hasn't she? Yeah, so I strongly suggest you check out her designs. Um, check pillow to go with my check shirt, obviously, in my psychopath outfit. Oh, I like that. Oh, Yvonne's having an online party for Halloween over Zoom. Well, that's a good oh, idea. Cool. So this is Sari. So you can eat your own candy. I'm not even going to say that name. So it's Sari someone. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a nice pillow. It is really pretty, and I like that there's blue and teal and red and then the creamy colour, and it's nicely joined together. I think it's it's just fun. Yeah. And, you, and you've always got a pillow to throw at someone. If you have a golfer in your life, I'm not sure oh, I know anyone that does. I'll have to make those for my husband, won't I? Golf club warmers. Who are? <laughs> I'm sure I saw some a few years ago and I could be making this up because I couldn't find them today and they right. had subversive messages in them using pearl stitches on the stockinette background I like it. and it had things like F U on <laughs> I like it. spelt out which of course you wouldn't see because they were on black yeah <laughs> And it, it it would be months, if not years, later by the time the person actually found them. Realised it, yeah. Oh, look All at right. this little bear, Tikosi, with his little cookie. Well, he's had a bite out of it already. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I love his jumper. I love his little tail, little bubble tail. Nice boucle yarn. It's lovely, that. King Cole Cuddles, I think it's called, isn't that? Oh. Who plays the French word for curly? I think so. Yeah. So it's your short. <gasps> oh, I love it. Does that mean we have to call it now your short and boucles? Yes, that's the one. Uh, this is in a, I think it's in Simply Knitting or one of the other magazines, but I just thought it was a fun idea. And I love that Santa's got wife front undies. <laughs> I was just going to actually say something about those wife fronts. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's not hip enough to have boxes, is he? Bless him. Well, no, I don't think I don't want any Calvins or anything like that either. No. Uh, Thanksgiving gnomes. Oh, no, more gnomes. Baby gnomes, <laughs> pilgrims and turkeys. So, and a turkey gnome. 
That is just genius. <laughs> so, you know, another slant on it. Yeah. Bibbity bobbity pumpkins. Gotta love a pumpkin. Um, I'm not going to link to baubles, Yvonne, but I'll put the link into the entire bundle. Have we got... Bear with me. So there's the link to the entire bundle and it should be public. So Bibbidi Bobbidi Pumpkins, it's a free pattern. It's knitted and a yarn held together to get a nice thick yarn. And then oh, it's obviously all gathered top and bottom to make the pumpkin. So super, super simple. And she's, she's used double strands there, I think, of DK yarn. Yeah. All right, that's quite cool. A teacup rabbit. Jackie, are you going to make this? Oh, wow. Is that, um, is that felted? Like needle felting or is it something else? It's knitted. Oh, wow. Uh, 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 uh. Legs are eye cords, arms are eye cords, feltable wool. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm... So, I think you are meant to felt it afterwards. I, I couldn't do that. No. No, I'm sorry. You just have to be the size that, that he's going to be. Gruffalo chocolate orange cover. He does look like he's straining on something. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. He's got a set piece, as my nana would say. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving swiftly on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the wreath. Uh, Christmas wreath. I just, I like the the little stockings, the, you know, like the paper. Chain. Chain yeah. decorations. The that holly. The little house. And Rudolph. It's just very, very cute. Probably That's all quite get you. simple shapes. Yeah. Just a bit of fiddle and faff, really. Um, I thought these were fun homey gifts for for someone, you know, teens, mm -hmm. teenagers, teen Oh yeah, yeah. And I like that the top is like a sweater opening so that you can wrestle it on and off without mm -hmm. having to do buttons and fastenings and stuff. Wrestling, yeah, definitely. Oh no, not the blanket again. The blanket of blue. Oh my god. The blanket of blue. It's it's not only the blanket of blue, it's the blanket of want. Yeah, but you can't buy it today, look. Oh no. It's Sunday. That's funny, isn't it? It's amazing she's done that. Well, and she's oh, wow. done it for several years. Um, yeah, this is kind of what I looked at about sort of six o'clock this morning, really, as I was having my first cuppa. With um, a candy cane? Yeah. Um, you need to start early. And a big, fat, full belly. Nah. I just think that's fun. It is cute. It just sits, fits a tiny teapot. So I like, oh, like yeah. my Denby two cup. Mm -hmm. Cute so little just, just one size on that one. Uh, be kind dishcloth. I think it's a message we can't uh, ignore in a year like this one. Uh, I love the little bees. That is really clever. And the little hive, and you know, it's just a timely message. So yeah, if we can't be anything other than nice, at least try and be kind and exactly maybe bite your tongue. <laughs> yeah. Ben the Jack Russell, we looked at those uh, a couple of weeks ago and I thought they were fun. I thought this was adorable. It was a trio of decorations and that looks like a sausagey dog. Oh, it's thing. Troy. And then obviously a reindeer and then a little brief. Or baby's teething ring. <laughs> but isn't that adorable? It is. It's really cute. No, we're not talking about you. You can lay back down. Bookmark bollocks. I'm really, yeah. Uh, a, Mike and Alex. Yeah, that's a, a bollock is a a cow, a male, that um, generally they're castrated and they're uh, not grown for beef. Oh. Uh, so they're, they're not used for breeding, bless them. They're just fattened up. 
I ate them yesterday. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, that made me sad. Um, I picked this one. She's got a, a dozen maybe of these wine cozies. And this one's called Dancing Grannies. Oh, everyone's got a dancing granny that comes around at Christmas, haven't they? Yeah. And then I, I think this picture, if I can get it to load. Anyway, oh, now we'll wow. show you the various designs that she's got. That is brilliant, isn't it? It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Uh, this is a log cabin LED tea light or chocolate cover. Don't put the tea lights and the chocolates in at the same time because one might melt the other. Uh, I think you'd be okay with an LED. Um, oh, but it, right. it does look cute and I like the little tiny snowman and the little path to the house and the tiny trees and the chimney. and. Oh, makes you think of... Christmas. Lots of cute little details. Yeah. Um, I, I just thought we should look at some more festive balls again. Well, you can't have enough festive balls. So this is another Eula Cooler pattern, and I am not even trying that first word. Sammy Spiretert? No, that's not even anywhere near close enough. Well, I don't know. Anyway, the people aren't they? That like, it, but the Sammies live in the Arctic Circle somewhere. There's different traditions, sure. but anyway, I just thought these were really cute designs, and they were great fun. And they used more unusual colours mm -hmm. uh, than the sort of monochrome look of Anna and Carlos. Um, I'm oh. going to be very careful how I say. Shelf sitter gnome. Well done. Because <laughs> I've got it wrong three times. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, I just think they're fun and I love the great yeah. big boots, oversized shoes. They are cute. A little bit of fun. Christmas garland. Um, oh, I mean, there's all geez. sorts of patterns like this about if yeah you're searching but this was a, a relatively new one that i just saw today so uh november aren't afghan oh look at that yeah i put this one in for helen's benefit actually just to look at the pricing right okay because uh, this is over seven pounds yeah and yes it's an aaron blanket but it's nowhere near the complexity of helen's design because no. most of it is a length of the various patterns in one panel. It's nowhere yeah. near the same level of effort. So, oh, the maths. Uh, yeah, and I just wanted to sort of nod to Helen about a thought on pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, Advent stockings. I think Jackie made a set of these. Oh, Carol's in the house. Hello. Oh, hi, Carol. Lovely to see you. I'm uh, sure Jackie made a set of the, if not these, another one, possibly. Yeah. Uh, was it one of Frankie's patterns that you did, Jackie? But really adorable. They are lovely. Can't aren't they? Anyone with fingering weight yarn would do 24. Oof. All different stockings. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming over all unnecessary just thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, it's a fairly new pattern, cable tea cosy, gathered top. But I quite like the pom poms. Oh, I like that. And that the cable split around the hole um, for the handles and uh, for the spout. I just thought it was a nice detail. Driving home for Christmas. Who is oh, I love it. Who mm. isn't now listening to Chris Raya in your head? Yeah. Driving home for Christmas. Yeah, cause he's not now. Bless him, is he? Um, oh, we won't go there. No, but I like that she's done the sort of traditional festive colours. Yeah. And then she's done this version. Oh wow! It's got fluffy and furry and snowy bits and all sorts going yeah. on there. So, yeah, I can imagine a teenager or a young child thinking that that's absolutely amazing, whereas the grown-ups will want, yeah, possibly, not all, a slightly more not traditional all. version. It's available on our website. It's not available on Rav Ravelry, but I think it's about £2.50. It's not much. Right. Oh, this is just that Birchall woman. Who's she? Oh, just this, yeah. Santa right. Tea Cozy. Santa 
sleep cozy. Yeah, it's just chunky. Who would clever enough to think of such a thing? I don't know, but that's um, Jackie's photograph at the top. How is it? Yeah. Woo -woo. Yeah, that's her Great version. Photo, Jackie. Oh, and then there's the mug cozies that I mentioned earlier. So I'll just quickly because I think you've all seen enough yeah. of that. Um, this is Chris Veenstra again. Just a cute Those little poster. These, well, these were good. very popular in every gift along that she's been in because they're a fun little project that you can put into toys and gnome. And because they're blue. Well, they're not all blue, are they? Mm. A lot of them have got blue in them. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's colourful. That's making my eyes itch. Yeah. And it's too high a contrast for me. But, but yeah, great fun. Um, I wanted an owl. Zooty owl trivets. Oh, uh, yeah. Recycled cotton. Different colours. I like this sort of moss one there. They're lovely. Oh, look, she's done all sorts of different colours. Yeah, Gorgeous. so she's given a good range. Coco, yeah. the knob off. Coco is, is throwing a Pyrex dish around the living room, if anybody hears the clang. Oh, so I, so I, I may have to stop for a moment to beat the living daylights out of it because that dish is older than I am. It's one that my mother gave me. Mm. And puppies are not allowed to throw it around. Um, Kate Davis, sheep carousel tea cozy. Yeah, I think Gorgeous. fun. So one or two and quite like long, cake. yeah, one or two um, quite long floats in this one. So just be aware of that. You'll need to um, yeah catch yarn across the back. And then this one's um, it's made with double stranded yarns and scraps and leftovers. I've got this pattern oh. somewhere. He looks very. I just love the little sad eyes. <laughs> he obviously didn't get that extra hour. He obviously didn't. He must have forgotten and got up at the normal time, and he's sad yeah. about it. Yeah. Gorgeous. So that that's it from me today. On I that definitely one. feel like I need some kind of turkey. Like especially the turkey, um, the wreath for the door. Yeah. That was cute. Are you going to make that? Well, I don't know. I, I'm not very good at crochet. What better way to learn? It's frustrating though, isn't it? When you know that you're a lot faster at knitting and you, you're trying to learn to crochet. I know, I know, I should try. Well, and I think the, the wreath has half a dozen coasters in each colour, probably more. Yeah. So you're doing a lot more work than you would if you were just covering a wreath with a bit of knitting or a bit of crochet to make a tube. Yeah. So I'd have said that was a project not for a beginner. Mm, exactly. Because by the time you've made all those little coaster shapes to put together to make the wreath, you'll just be wishing your life away. You'd be thinking, what did I start? Yeah, yeah. And I've had the odd project like that. So, what's everybody got in their hooks and needles today? Have you been making anything, or mm. you've been crafting other things? What What have you been on with? And what have you done with your extra hour? Yeah, have you done anything with your extra hour? So that's where I'm at with my cowl. Gorgeous. And this is the hat. Where's the hat? Oh, if anyone that missed it. So what I've done with the cowl is I've taken out this section of lace. Um, where, where is it? I'm looking right back. Yeah. There. That's so it. That lower section of lace to offset it so that the ribbing goes higher. And then it'll have the similar offset at the top, I think. So okay. I don't know when I want to put the hat on. But... Come on. We want to see it. Oh, just about fits over my earphones. I was going to say, you wouldn't normally be walking down the street with those on, though, would you? No. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. See, if you didn't have such a gorgeous, gorgeous crown, I'd say put a pom-pom on it, but you don't want to lose the effect. 
Uh, I do like pom poms. Oh yeah, goodness. but the crown is so pretty. If you put a pom pom on it, you wouldn't see it as well. Mm. That's the it's only problem. One of those, isn't it? If you weren't here earlier, then that's what Emma's talking mm. about. Gorgeous. Yeah, one of those. I mean, I was going to grade it, but because it's a 26 stitch pattern repeat, it's actually quite difficult to to get into too many sizes. So I might just do two sizes with that one and just tell them to go up a needle size because it'll give the extra height and width that's required for a bigger head. Mm -hmm. But it's quite stretchy. Um, my dad tried it on and it'll fit his head and he's got like a 25 inch noggin. So. Noggin. Yeah, it's just the ribbing that will be slightly overstretched on him. So yeah, I need to look at that. That'd so be we'll see. Yeah, and sometimes with with a difficult one like that, I might go up a yarn weight. So I say Aaron and five and a half mil needles or something. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's just the ribbing that you need, do different size ribbing and then an increased row. Yeah, but the problem then is that it won't line into the pattern. Yeah. and now it lines perfectly into the pattern and it will really offend my sensibilities if anybody out in the wild then knits it and doesn't do it with the rib lining into the pattern and decides just to yeah. do any old rib you know which obviously it's up to them to do but when you go to the effort of making the cables appear out of the ribbing but you can't them, control what people are going to do in the wild no you can't because they're um, wild out there. Well, they are. But there will be people who want an intermediate size that would be a total pain in the backside to do. Yeah. And expect you to work out the ribbon and make all of that work. And that would be a lot of extra work with that particular one. So whether it's yeah. worth it or not, I don't know. I'll need to have a look at my hat pattern sales and see what kind of revenue they're generating. Because unless there's sort of standout ones that really make you think oh yeah that's worth it then it's a lot of effort for a slow return definitely so you know the questions you do have to ask yourself uh was anybody tempted by anything in that little bundle oh Carol says definitely. they haven't got an extra hour yet i think their clocks change next week Oh, and Helen liked the Zooty Owls, but Gilly's clock is out. Yeah, so is Arthur's. He wants oh, to... uh, Jackie says it wasn't stocking, it was mittens, mini mittens. Ah. Helen has finally finished seaming the blanket and weaving in the ends. Woohoo! Photos taken. I'm looking forward to seeing those, Helen. That is exciting. Oh, Carol says the hat's very nice. Helen loves the colour. I'm rather partial to a mustard. It doesn't photograph very well. It's been quite hard to photograph. Yeah. Um, the camera seems to sort of bleach it out a bit, so I'm going to have to play around with background colours to see if I can encourage it to play nicer. Yeah. Because um, obviously I want to be able to, to see the colour. You need to have a stern well. word with it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. So what have you got for dinner today? Jake and I are having salmon with roast potatoes and whatever veg in the fridge that I find that needs using up. <laughs> we had the leftovers of my beef stew and I made more dumplings and we had roast potatoes with it. Oh, actually, Jake's got some dumplings and stew in the fridge from yesterday that he didn't have, so mm. he could have that. There you go, see? And if I cook the salmon... I will come downstairs in the morning and it will be gone from the fridge. Mm. You've got uh, one of those thieves in the night. Uh, right, Yvonne says she might make one of the skull baubles to go with her Halloween outfit. Oh, that would be fun, Yvonne. I really look forward to seeing those. Uh, Jackie says, love the cow, Lorraine is an Aaron weight. It's actually a DK. I'm using Starcraft Bellissima DK in the mellow yellow colourway. Mm. Uh, I know that you don't do yellow, but yeah. Um, you could probably do it in an Aaron weight. I just need it to do a swatch and figure out how big that was going to be. Yeah. Oh, Helen says her mustard chunky is waiting to play for the beanie zebra hat. Mm. That's going to be really nice, Helen. Oh, really yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. 
Well, and I think it's fun when you get a pattern back and you can play around with it. Yeah. You know, when you've had it published in a magazine. Carol has got lamb curry. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, Yvonne, you're going to make me try and say this, aren't you? And I'm going to get it wrong, but I'm going for it anyway. Kesa Spetzel. Spetzel. I've probably massacred that. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> My Welsh program keeps trying to get me to learn how to say carrot curry. No, I've never had a carrot curry before. Oh, okay. So it's a traditional German cheese dish. Ooh. Sounds nice. It looks really, really good. Okay. Um, Hello, what's the matter? What? Rungapedia is not telling me what's in it, what? other than it's a traditional dish from the German regions of Algau, is that? Swabia, Vorarlberg, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland. It's got cheese in it and onions. What's Spetzel? Is that like a pasta? Noodles are ah, like um, a type. It says it's a type of pasta made with with fresh eggs. Spatzel, special kind of noodles with cheese. Yeah. Mm. A bit like mac and cheese, but instead of it being mac, it's noodles. Yeah, sounds really good. It does. And do you do use that. a variety of cheeses rather than just one cheese? Can you, can or can you chuck any old cheese in? Is it something that you can have a bit of fun with, or mm, or if you put or are people in, real? Are they real purists? Yeah. About? Would you get in trouble for using the wrong cheese? Yeah, these idiots that microwave their baked beans and toast. I microwave my beans, not the toast, but the beans. Yeah, they put the beans on the toast and then microwave it. There's How? Sadly wrong there. How do you microwave? Yeah. It won't be toast though, will it? It'll just be bread. It'll just be wet bread, yeah. Ooh. No, that's not right. I think it's all just to get people like us to comment on it. So I don't, I just, I don't give it oxygen. No. Was anybody tempted by the little baby Yoda ornament? Because, you know, this is the way. Oh, there's onions and bacon in it too. Oh, that sounds Ooh. so good. Carol's saying, mmm, bacon. I do like bacon. Yeah, that is sort of pretty much going to turn me into a food a food gathering zombie, just the smell of bacon. <laughs> I have been quite good. I've got some lentil soup on the stove that I made earlier. Cool. And I had a massive bowl of that for my lunch. Slightly let down by the enormous cupcake I had after it, but you know. You got have dessert. Woman cannot live on soup alone. I made them for Jake and then he went out, leaving me alone with cake. It's not good. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, so Yvonne says it depends how traditional you are. So. so would you say that your version, Yvonne, is traditional or are you more progressive? Progressive, I like that word. <laughs> Well, no. I think adaptable to the times, you know, because we've all got to cope with what we can at the moment, haven't we? Well, and I think sometimes you have to be aware of what's in your house and what you can get quickly. And if you just fancy some cheesy noodles. Oh, she so mostly uses Emmental. Mm -hmm. I really like Emmental. I think Gruyere is one of my favourites, though, even though it does smell a bit like sweaty feet when it's in the fridge. Uh, all I can say is vegan cheese just doesn't hit the mark. Sorry. No, it doesn't. It's because it's not cheese. Mm. I don't know how they can even call it cheese. No, it just sticks to the roof of your mouth. It's not good. Oh, Helen says that Paul is taking the pheasant to a neighbour who's inquired about getting pheasants in the past. Mm -hmm. Good plan. Are you going to be invited round for dinner when he's dressed it? Don't get much meat off one pheasant. That's rude. Well, you don't. Well, it's not worth all the effort then, is it? Arthur nearly caught a pheasant in the field the other week. 
All right. He's getting quite good at catching things, you know, but he doesn't share. Um, my, t my two can catch stuff if they feel they want to. But I think the problem with it is when they've then caught it, they've stood there with it in their mouths going, what to do with it? Do you know what to do with it? I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> and then they have this little conversation and one of them puts whatever it is down and then they come back to me. And go, look what we caught. Oh, we haven't got it anymore. Yeah, oh, we left it because it was rubbish and we don't know yeah. what to do with it now, really. What do you mean you wanted it? Why did you want that? Instinct, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, so Yvonne's saying she doesn't make her own, but she used dries from the store, so not traditional at all. Uh, um, right. I think it's a cool. case of what's convenient for you and what fits around your life. I'm all for using dried and frozen foods and things like that if it makes life easier I mean who wants to be a slave to the stove and I mean there are times yeah we do want to cook because we want to make something because it's pleasurable but there are other times we just want to eat and we want yeah. to eat fast and it'd be good I know so, some know. people do enjoy cooking but I'm not one of them Helen says they are the dumbest of all creatures are we talking <laughs> about pheasants or labradors because I, I would agree on both points really these two are dumber than wood <laughs> Arthur's definitely thinking it's half past five <laughs> <laughs> he's like you missed my dinner time well he's stomach yeah. his, his throat's been cut bless him he said hello to everyone <laughs> He's like, no. I don't think I can see him. No, I can see no, you petting him. Here. Oh, bless him. Yeah. He's like, what's going on? Oh, for anyone that wasn't here at the beginning, I re-knitted my cowl. Yeah. So, and took quite a few rows out and re-centred the cable so that it was happier. And it is now the same size as the other one that I did in the uh, Aaron special. Special with wool, the hollyhock. Lavender. More yeah. of a lavender than a purple. Yeah, and I've still got Helen's hat next to me. I still haven't woven in the end, so don't tell her. No, I'll just, 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 just tuck that in and just... Yeah, be fine. Put, yeah, just put it right in there like that. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, she'll never know. And then I have a question. So okay. I showed you this hat on Facebook and Insta the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a very simple slip stitch with ribbon. You can see there's a stitch oh, yeah. marker. That was so I knew where I was counting in the round because I couldn't okay. find the, the seam where I'd woven in the ends. <laughs> yeah. And it's there somewhere, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. So it, that was just for me counting. It's obviously not going to have a stitch marker and it's got a little garter top and this Ooh. slip stitch pattern. Yeah. So do I make it in this colour? which is not blue. It is blue. And it's yeah, not... you always, the answer is always yes, make it in the blue. Or do I go with the slightly more challenging and would make the point, I think, of the same yarn, wow. Man of Silk Blending Capricorn. Oh, that's my birth sign. Ooh. So either, um, either option is... So when when I show the two together, you'll see how much more in, intense. Yeah. To, this one is go for the Capricorn. Oh, we'll see what everybody's got to say. Because you know, oh pheasants! It will make it will make my birthday present all the more special, knowing that you did my birth sign yarn for it. Oh, will it? And yeah. I've got another skin to do a cowl, so I think I should do a set. I think so. I did consider doing wristers. Okay. But um, small circumference in the round with slipping a stitch and wrapping it over the front of the yarn can be a little bit awkward on DPNs or magic loop and sometimes you can just end up with so I don't know. I may go just go with the hat and the cowl. Yeah. Yeah, but this is my running hat. Um oh, cool. And I've lost it twice. Oh, no. It always comes back to me. Um, the That's first nice time I lost it, it, it must have fallen out of my pocket because I got overheated. I was having an old lady hot flush while I was running. And it fell out of my coat pocket. And I ran past the same bit the next day. And there was a, a cardboard sign with an arrow 
is this your hat? And you said, <laughs> yes, it is. It is my hat. And someone had put it in a little sealed plastic bag. I mean, how, how adorable is that? And then the second time it, it, it came out as I was actually running along the road and someone behind me ran to catch up, which wasn't fast, to be fair. I mean, they could have yeah. walked at a child pace and caught me uh, to give me my hat back. So, yeah, it just it's like a boomerang. <laughs> just... Either that or it's possessed, you know, like Christine the car or something. And... Oh, yeah, it could be that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm on phase three of my Marvel movie weekend. Uh, okay. And I've, I've finished watching Ant-Man and Wasp. I've got Captain Marvel and uh, Avengers Endgame to watch. And I can't watch Spider-Man Homecoming because you have to pay for that on Amazon. It's not free on Disney+. Plus. That's shocking. It, well, it's a Sony Music Entertainment one. It's not a... Still shocking. It's not a Disney one. It's wrong. So, yeah. So I've never seen that one. <laughs> I saw it at the cinema, I took Callum. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. It's worth a watch. I mean... Okay, so the vote's coming in. Michelle says Capricorn. Carol says Capricorn. Yvonne says definitely the second one might look fun. Helen, uh, if the pattern is slip stitches and works for busy yarn, then go for it. Yeah, the busier the yarn, the better, to be honest. I think the more subtle in it would get lost. That's my worry about the blue. And if I want to do the cowl, then I should get them to match. And if I use the blue, I've only got one skein. There you go. You've just answered your own question. Yeah, but sometimes it's just good to get a sanity check because, you know. It's gorgeous blue. I know someone who might like that. I've got a couple of sweater quantities of... Um, <laughs> of the um, Manos, Manos Silk Blend. Absolutely love it. Carol's asking, are you going to sing, Emma? Is, is this a, a subtle hint that we've been going on too long, Carol? <laughs> As my dad would say, Carol, does a bear poo in the woods? I'm sure he doesn't say that at all. He does. He it's also doesn't. says, is the Pope Catholic? Not necessarily. Oh, well, you know. Um, yeah, not necessarily. So, yeah, it's well, a difficult one. That is a difficult one. So, but the answer is a big yes. I have I have my outro song ready. Okay, are you going to do your vocal exercises and then yeah. count them in? Because yeah, I can't wait. You love my outro song. I know. Even Carol has started messaging me every week now, along with Helen, saying how much yeah. they absolutely love it. And I must apologise uh, as to where I cut it the other night, because you almost heard it. You almost, yeah. Apparently, yeah. I, uh, I, I'll have to do. I'll have to do a special um, verse for Carol, won't I? Then, if she she likes it that much. Yeah. <laughs> Carol's laughing now. QI says no. Is, is, the, is, is, the, is the klaxon going off? <laughs> so, it, it, sorry, was that was that you singing or was that a car alarm? That, that's me warming up. Okay, so it's sorry. Interesting vocal exercise. Loving this style. Yeah. Did you learn that at the Royal Opera House? I did, I did. How did you know I went there? Brilliant acoustics. There you go. Ah! From it's... from the alley outside. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> with, with with the other cats. <laughs> yeah. So 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 I'm almost ready. Are we? Yeah. yeah are you're we... gonna count us in. Count us in. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's really excited, and we will see you on Thursday at a usual well new usual time Car carol's covering her ears she's not she's trumpeting them so she can hear me better oh is that what she's doing yeah she's like this okay okay, okay that's good yeah count us in five four three